couple of years ago, some friends and I, we decided we want to do something we've never done before. We want to have an adventure. So a couple of my friends said, you know what? We need to take our lives to a new experience, a new level. Let's go white water rafting. So the weekend was over and we had one last thing to do. We had to take our oars and our life jackets. We had to walk up the side of this mountain, walk over this bridge, put our stuff into equipment shack, go in our cars, go home, and that's it. But then something caught the corner of my eye and it looked amazing. What I saw were these people like running off the side of the mountain and kind of like swan diving into the water. So I go, man, I wish I could do that. And as I said that, there was a guide who was with us. The guide sees me, puts his hand on my shoulder, turns me around, looks me in the eye and says, I've got some good news and I got some bad news. He's like, the bad news is the spot where they're jumping from, we don't have enough time to walk all the way down to that spot. The good news is we have just enough time for you to jump off this bridge right here. And I was like, dude, there's no way I can make this jump. Like that's not sane. He was like, no, 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 it's really good. You don't know what to do. Is that the problem? I was like, yeah, no. I mean, how do you jump down and survive? He says, you don't know what to do. I got you. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Has your mind ever wanted to do something, but your body doesn't follow through on the things that you told it to do? So my mind was like, let's jump. And my feet was like, nah, son, stay right here. Right? So like there was nothing, nothing happening. And what I noticed was my fear response was triggered. I was almost paralyzed. I've learned the exact steps I needed to do. Right? So now, what's left? Jump. The simplest part. There's no skill involved in jumping. Does that make sense? Aurel is amazing and he shares his story and his passion and his love into everybody here. It's hard to explain why that happens the way it does. Some of us may be working jobs. I gotta get out of this job. I don't love it anymore. This is the thing that I love. All right, you gotta go do this. No, I'm not gonna. I'll just wait till Friday. And then Friday comes. Now I look at him and he motivates and inspires. I think everyone here. You have to face that bridge right there. And I think that's why you're here today. What I've found is the person who's willing to do things even when they don't feel like it, even when they're not in the mood, even when they don't have the energy, even when they're scared, that's who wins.